Hello, hello. Hello, hello, good night. Good night, how are you? I'm very good, thank you for asking, how are you? Um, well, uh, yeah. I'm glad to hear that. Yesterday, yesterday I couldn't enter because uh, I am be honest with you, I just sleep. I slept. I slept because I was very tired. I don't know. Oh, maybe that's okay. Because all day, because maybe all day when my kids playing something, yeah. stuff in my house, everything. <laughs> yeah, they, but I, I, I didn't put the. Uh, I didn't that's put okay. alarm. <laughs> that's so, okay, but you were when able I woke to. Up, See the class on YouTube? Yeah. Awesome. When I woke up, I it was a surprise. <gasps> uh, I uh -huh. said it's 10 p.m. I forgot. <laughs> it was very late. Good evening, teacher. Hi, Sophie. Good evening. How are you? Hi. Awesome. Glad to hear that. Thank you very much for joining on time, guys. Today, we are going to continue learning something else. Yesterday, we were reviewing another topic. Do you remember what we were seeing yesterday? Recuerdan que estábamos viendo yesterday? Yes, no, yes, no. But yes, you can see it's slightly different and also using yes. the auxiliary did. So what did we see yesterday? What were we doing yesterday? I don't remember because I don't know. <laughs> That's okay. ¿Qué estuvimos practicando yesterday, guys? What were we reviewing yesterday? Words, countable and not countable. Correct. Countables and non-countables. Hi, good evening, Edgardo. Yes, that's correct. We were reviewing countables and non-countables. Also, I'm sorry, because no les enviado el link so that you could practice um so that you could practice the words, but I will. No se me ha olvidado. I will send it. I'm sorry. Um so yeah, we were seeing uh countables and non-countable nouns, right? And some expressions of quantity, how to say a little bit, few. Uh, quite, do you remember? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. Awesome. So guys, today we are going to go ahead and move on to a different topic which is indirect questions. So let's see. Before I do that, let's see. We are 14 people right now. 14 people. We have Jesse, Sophie, Lydia, Lester, Lisette, Carla. Hi, Amazon. teacher. Good night. Hi, Lester. Good night. How are you? Very well, very well. And you? Awesome. I'm very good. Thank you for asking. Let's see. There is also Edgardo, William, Ariel, Gaby, Katia, Marcela, Beatriz, 
Hi. Hi, Jan. Hi, how are you? Teacher. Yep. Uh, ¿Por qué este, um, eh, en la imagen que le mandé se escribe sin la S, solo con el apóstol? Ah, oh, ok. Se las dos formas. No, 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 no. Ok, veamos eso. Today, Beatriz sent me this question. <laughs> house is it santa claus or santa claus para decir um propiedad de que le pertenece a santa claus toy like this one number one or number two? For me? Number two. <laughs> Which one's the correct Number one, one sorry. Number one. Okay, we have one vote for number one. Who else? Que dicen los demás? Good night, teacher. Hi, good night, Tomlin. How are you? Fine, thank you. Awesome. And the second teacher. The second one? Okay. The second, yes. For what about the rest? Is, is a... Apostrophe letter S. Mm -hmm. uh, is a... Uh, um, <laughs> how do you say? I don't know. Eh, la posición de uno. No sé cómo le... Correct. Possessive, yeah. Possession. Possessive. When, when the words end in S, no, it's not necessary. Correct, correct. That is correct. When the name ends in S, then we don't do that. For example, so the correct one would be this one. This is correct. Why? Because it ends with an S. ¿Qué otro nombre termina con S, guys? For example, let's see. For example, Isaías. So that would be Isaías. And the... With this right here. No así, sino solo así. What else? What would be other names? For ex what would be another name? Um, Marcos. Marcos, correct. Marcos, right. Jesus. Santa Claus, etc. Si el nombre termina en S, entonces ya no vamos a agregar otra, sino que solo se le pone el apóstrofe. ¿Sí? Teacher y Carlos. Carlos, igual, Carlos. Y aquí estamos hablando de posesivos, right? Carlos' house, Jesús' shoes, Marcus' um, notebook, Isaías' pillow. Noten que en la pronunciación sí se oye. Isaías. Marcus's, Jesus's, or Jesus's, or Carlos's house, right? Pero al escribirlo solo le ponemos el apóstrofe. ¿Ya? Yeah? Por la regla que nos decía Marcela, si termina con S, entonces no vamos a poner um, the... No vamos a poner the, eh, el apóstrofe, el apos, eh, the apostrophe plus S. No vamos a poner la S adicional. Is that clear, guys? Yes. Thanks. Thank you. Awesome. Yes, it's clear. Yes. No problem. Um, teacher, y para decir, uh, 
el lugar donde el santa recoge las cartas? ¿Cómo podría ser? Porque yo lo traducí en un gran montón de veces, pero no, no hay cómo ponerlo. Um, Porque allí le mandé y aparecía como santas, book, pero no es... Eso es como la librería o libros de santa o algo así. Pero, ¿cómo o dónde recoge las cartas? El lugar donde recoge las cartas, no sé cómo que... Te, no sé cómo, no sé cómo traducirlo. Uh, but... What kind of place is it? O sea, sí. no sé ni cómo se llama en español. ¿El mío? Debe ser una mailbox. Yeah, like a mailbox, like a mail, um, a, a mail room, for example, un cuarto de correo, si lo queremos decir así. Yeah, it would be like a mail room. Y si dice Santa's box, es, es la caja de Santa. O oh, Santa's Mailbox podría ser, como nos decía Lester. Santa's Mailbox. Ah, ok. Thank you. Yeah. No, Or... no, logro, no logro comprender, teacher. What? Porque el apóstrofe al final eh, es solo, o sea, está solita, pero en Santa's está el apóstrofe okay. antes de la S. No entiendo ahí todavía. Correct. Ok. Porque cuando colocamos ap uh, apostrophe plus s, apostrofe y s, estamos dando el eh, significado de que le pertenece. Por ejemplo, Santa's mailbox, um, Sofía's camera, um, Samuel's shoes, Lester's house. Pero la única excepción es cuando el nombre termina en S. Si el nombre ya termina en S, no le vamos a agregar otra S, sino que solo le vamos a poner el apóstrofe. Ah, no, los nombres propios. Correct. Yes. Nombres ah. propios. Correct. Esto es mm. para nombres propios. Y también para cosas que no sean propias. Podemos verlo con otro ejemplo. Por ejemplo, my mother's... Mm, my mother's anniversary. My parents. So vamos a poner así. My parents' anniversary. La apóstrofe S significa, está indicando que le pertenece a mis padres. My parents' anniversary. My cousin's... Correct. Yes. Perfect. My cousin's birthday. Mm. Correct. Mm. Let's see her brother's graduation. Y así, que le pertenece a él, right? Si algo termina con S, entonces ya no le vamos a poner apóstrofe S, sino que solo le agregamos la apóstrofe para no agregar doble S. Ah. Uh -huh. Pero siempre significa pertenencia. Correct. Yes. Mm. Correct. Esa sí solo es una regla que si termina en S, pertenencia es solo la apóstrofe. Mm. Por ejemplo, si yo tengo varios perros, puedo decir my dogs food, la comida de mis perros, right? My dogs food. My dogs food. Porque es de varios. Si yo digo my, así, my dogs food, la comida de mis perros, plural, varios perros, es diferente que my dogs food que es la comida de mi perro, un perro, one dog, singular, plural, singular, ¿sí? ¿Hoy sí? Yes, yeah. yes. Awesome, Thank perfect, you. of course. Salió un buen exercise, este, Beatriz, excellent, buen exercise. <laughs> 
Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Really good. Ya ven, no enseñan porque no quieren. All right. Let's put this here. These are some ex examples. Aquí lo vemos ejemplificado. Now, guys, today's topic. Whoops. Okay. Today's topic is about indirect questions. ¿Cuáles son las indirect questions? What are indirect questions? Indirect questions son preguntas normales. They are normal questions. With just a difference, solo con la única diferencia, que we use them to be polite. Queremos sonar más amables. Queremos sonar más respetuosos. We want to be polite, respectful. Maybe we're talking to someone important like our boss or someone who is recruiting us. Or maybe we're meeting someone important, maybe the president of the company. O cualquier otra persona importante o a la que le querramos demostrar respeto. Maybe our, our mother-in-law, nuestra suegra, I don't know. Um, cualquier persona a la que le querramos mostrar respeto o querramos ser más cordiales, right? So we use indirect questions. No hay una manera correcta o incorrecta de usarlo, sino que solo si queremos sonar... Um, Extra cortés. polite, cortés. Más respetuosos. Correct. Más respetuosos. Respectful. Then we can use indirect questions. Es la misma pregunta. The same question. Hecha de una manera más respetuosa. Veamos algunos ejemplos. Can I please have Maritza read this example? Este que voy a encerrar. This one. We read the normal question and the indirect question. Esta es la normal, esta es la indirect. Leemos ambas. Where is the bank? Could you tell me where the bank is? Excellent, Maritza. Thank you so much. Vamos a leer los ejemplos and then we're going to see the differences. All right. So can I please have Lester read the next one? Okay. Um, where are the restroom rooms? Do you know where the restrooms are? Excellent, Lester. Thank you so much. And can I please have Jesse read this one? Okay. How often do how often do the buses live? Can you tell me how often the buses live? Excellent, Jesse. Thank you so much. And can I please have Carla read this one? Hello? Okay, no problem. Let's go ahead and can I please have Gabby read that one? Uh, what time does the bank open? Do you know what time the bank opens? Excellent, Gaby. Thank you so much. And can I please have Ariel read the last one? Right. 560 arrive. Do you know when flight 560 arrive? Thank you so much, Ariel. Thank you very much, guys, for reading. Now, what differences could you see? ¿Qué diferencias pudieron ver? We use the auxiliary do. Correct. We can use do. What else can we use? Do, do. W yeah. questions. Correct. For direct, we use W questions. Y aquí está el do o el dos, right? Do, de, do. 
What else, guys? ¿Qué es lo único que pueden ver en las indirect questions que no está en las direct questions? The news. What? The verb new. The verb new. Where is that? New now? What now? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No, no. El uso de los verbos modales. Oh, for, like, could you? Yes, see? Or which one? That I can see is that in what part there are questions that are really direct, and the other part there are the same question but more polite, maybe. Correct, yes, that is a good point, Carlos. Thank you, perfect. Now, veamos cuáles son las uh, principales diferencias. Now, this is what I wanted you guys to tell me. This is the most important one. Could you? Could you tell me where the bank is? Y la otra expression que vemos es, do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Could you tell me? ¿Por qué? Porque we're Can trying you... to be respectful. Can you? Correct. Correct, Samuel. Can you tell me? Okay. ¿Qué podríamos decir de además? Would you tell me? X cosa, right? Would you tell me? ¿Por qué? Porque we're trying to be respectful. No estamos diciendo directamente... Where is the bank? So, can you tell me where the bank is? Can, can you tell me where the bank is? Do you mind telling me where the bank is? Otra cosa que podemos decir. Do you mind telling me? X cosa. Uh, may I ask you? Let's see what else can you say. May I ask you, would you tell me? Do you mind telling me? Could you tell me? Can you tell me? Estas son algunas maneras de ser polite, ser respectful. No solo, ¿dónde está el banco? Sino, ¿podría preguntarle dónde está el banco? May I ask you where the bank is? Could you tell me where the bank is? ¿Podría decirme dónde está el banco? Now, what else can you notice? ¿Está ordenada la oración de la misma manera o se ordena de manera diferente? Es diferente. Correct, Catherine. Yes, it is different. Veamos cuál es la diferencia. Vamos a poner la whiteboard. Vamos a guardar Santa Claus. Teacher, perdón, ¿cuál fue la pregunta que hizo? No entendí. Uh, what is the difference between the two sentences? ¿Cuáles son las diferencias entre las dos oraciones? Ah, se ordena, sí. se ordena en igual, or differently. Okay. So let's review. We have where is the bank? This is the direct question. Esta es la pregunta directa. The direct question. Y la pregunta indirecta. Can you tell me where the bank is? All right? Ahora, esto puede ser, can you tell me where the bank is? Would you? Would you tell me? Can, uh, could you correct? Um, do you mind telling me? 
where the bank is. El punto es que es indirect, right? Lo que en lo que nos queremos fijar es en esto. En esto. Where the bank is. Where is the bank? Where the bank is. Entonces, las indirect question const questions constan de dos partes. Lo polite que estamos diciendo. Can you tell me where the bank is? Would you tell me? Uh, could you tell me? Do you mind telling me? Y de la pregunta como tal. Where the bank is? Porque como ustedes pueden ver, as you can see, son las mismas palabras. Where, where, the, the, bank, bank, is, is. Entonces la pregunta como tal está dentro de la oración, right? Y estamos agregando todo lo del comienzo para ser respectful, para ser polite. So, lo que único que va a cambiar es que the verb goes at the end. Veamos la structure of this question. We have the WH word plus the verb. ¿Cuál es el verb? Verb to be, right? Is. The bank es una cosa. So it, it, it is. So the bank, where is? Complement. The bank. Entonces aquí vamos. Eh, aquí vamos como um, courtesy, la cortesía, le vamos a decir the courtesy, we're trying to be respectful. Y a esto, después de la courtesy, vamos WH question plus complement plus verb. Eso es lo único que cambia. Eso es lo único que cambia. Eso es lo que vamos a alternar. Veamos otro ejemplo. Es más, tomémoslos, tomémoslos de estos que están aquí. Veamos otro ejemplo. How often do the buses leave? Veamos. How often do the buses leave? Cada cuánto se van los buses. How often do the buses leave? Y vamos a hacerla con una courtesy. Could you tell me? How often do the bosses leave? Veamos el orden. How Ya vimos, aquí está la courtesy. Could you tell me? Y aquí está la question como tal. Las mismas palabras. Son las mismas palabras. Is the how, how, often, often, do, do, the, the buses leave. ¿Qué pueden notar? What is the difference between this one and that one? Ay, aquí lo, me comía. Lo, lo, lo polite. Correct. Eh, could you tell me? Mm -hmm. Ahora, guys. The difference. ¿Cuál es la diferencia que pueden notar en el example? Esta. El do, podemos omitirlo o podemos ponerlo. No hay ningún problema. Pueden omitirlo o pueden decirlo. Eso no es que esté correcto o incorrecto. How often do the bosses leave or how often do they leave? El me, teacher. ¿Hmm? El me. Uh, teacher, sure. Correct. Solo estamos añadiendo la courtesy. Y la pregunta se mantiene igual. Could you tell me how often do the bosses leave? 
Or could you tell me how often the buses leave? Sing it. Sure. When you know that you can use the bear and omit the bear. Correct. Well. Ah, no, it's a, uh, se puede usar o se puede no usar. Omitir o no omitir, no hay problema. Anyway, no es de una situación u otra. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? En una estoy usando do or did y en la otra no. Entonces, este es un ejemplo de una oración using do or did. Right? Y este es un ejemplo de WH question. Sing, do, or did. Esa es la diferencia. Cuando lleven do o did, no vamos a cambiarle nada a la oración, solo le vamos a añadir la courtesy. Vamos a ponerlo aquí. Courtesy plus question. Tal como es. Si no lleva do or did, entonces sí tenemos que hacer esta inversión. The complement and the verb change places. Si solo es, where is the bank? What is the fee? Uh, what is your height? Así, right? Verbi. With the verb to be, oh, uh -huh. What are the, where are the restrooms? Do you know where the restrooms are? Correct. And do or did. Esos son los dos tipos de preguntas que podemos tener. Direct or indirect, si son con B, o sola, o, o, es decir, solo la WH question con B, o si estamos usando do or did. Si es do or did, se queda igual. Y si es uh, with B, o sea, is, are, hacemos esa inversión. Lo invertimos así. ¿Qué es esto que vemos aquí? ¿Sí? Any questions about this, guys? Do you want to see more examples? Alguna pregunta sobre esto, guys? Do you want to see another example? Hello? For me, is everything clear, teacher? Awesome, great. What about the rest? It's good. That's good? Yes. Awesome, perfect. All right, guys. In that case, if it is clear, entonces vamos a hacer un exercise, all right? Vamos a hacer un exercise. I'm gonna give you some questions, okay? We're gonna do breakup rooms. Vamos a trabajar en grupos. We're gonna do breakup rooms. We are 26 people right now. And I'm going to give you different questions to each group. Les voy a dar diferentes questions que pueden ser direct or, indir uh, or indirect questions. Y ustedes las van a convertir si son indirect and direct is on direct and indirect. Igualmente me van a decir si era indirect o qué era la pregunta original. Van a decir, okay, this question was an indirect question y aquí está la versión en direct. Yeah? Sounds good? ¿Les parece? Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Cool. All right, so It's let's okay. see. We are 26 people. So we are going to do maybe eight groups or seven groups. Yeah, we're going to do eight groups. 
Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. So let's go ahead and click on join breakup rooms. Únense a los breakup rooms y yo les voy a ir dando las questions que vamos a hacer. Okay. See you in the breakup rooms, guys. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you guys? Are you just two people? Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Okay, no problem. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Oh, okay, I see what happened. Okay, we're going to join to get Claudia over here. And also get Ronald over here so that you are more people. Okay, okay. There we go. That's better. Okay. Now, guys, I'm going to give you your sentences, the sentences that you are going to work with. Okay? Okay. Están listos? Se les voy a decir. So you have to take note. Okay. Okay. So the first question, no les voy a decir si es direct o indirect, is that's your job, y transformar, right? So, okay. the first sentence is, where is Sandra? Where is Sandra? Correct. Okay. Next question is, do you know at what yes. time? What time? The school opens. All right, next question. Okay. Where do we eat? Where do we eat? Correct. Next question is, where can I sit? Y la última is, can you pass me the salt? Can you pass me the soul? Correct. All right. So I'll leave you to it, guys. Voy a ir a dar más questions. I'll be back, okay? Okay. Thank you.
how is everyone doing? Are you ready for your questions? We are ready, Miss. Awesome. Okay. I am going to say the questions. So you need to be ready to write them down. Okay. 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 So I'm going to give you five questions, direct or indirect. Your job is to know which one it is and to transform them. So first question. Does he work on Monday? Does she work on Monday? Does he work on Monday? Does she work on Monday? Does she? Does she work on Monday? Next question. Do you have a dog? Do you have a dog? Okay. Number three. Can you tell me if Jenny is working? Can you tell me is Jenny working? If Jenny is working. Correct. Number four. Can you buy some bread? Can you buy some bread? Can, can, you, can, pardon, teacher. can you buy some bread? No le agarro, teacher. Can That's you buy it. some bread? That's correct. Mm -hmm. And number five. Ah, buy de comprar. Correct. No, 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 And number five. Is your shirt red? Is your shirt red? Your shirt red is. That's your job to do that. All right, guys. So those are your five sentences. I'm going to be right back in just a moment to see how you're doing. Okay. 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 Thank you. How is Hello. That? Hi, teacher. Welcome. <laughs> How are you doing, girl? Such a great group. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to give you five sentences, and you have to find out if it is a direct or indirect question and transform it. All right. So I'm going to tell you the question. So you need to be ready to write them down. All right. So your first question is is he at the park is he at the park uh, in um, direct question is um no but you have to write them down uh, and you this have is, to this. this is direct this <laughs> okay and then so i can throw on the nestle and then we're gonna share it later ah okay yeah uh, can right. you repeat please of course so is he at the park mm -hmm. is he at the park and question number two mm -hmm is do you know where she is mm -hmm. 
repeat please of course do you know do you know where she is mm -hmm. <laughs> question number three uh -huh. lydia very exciting <laughs> yeah <laughs> awesome all right question number three where is the hospital Right. Question number four. four. What time? Mm -hmm. What time does the school open? Mm -hmm. And question number and... five. Mm -hmm. Where is the school? And those would be your five questions, guys. Esas serían las cinco oraciones con las que estarían trabajando. And then I'll be back and we will share them tomorrow. Okay? Okay. Excellent. Thank Teacher. you. Yes? Una pregunta. En yep. el caso de wool y cool, ¿hay alguna difer diferencia de contexto para ocuparlas? No, 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 really. no, really. um, Could you es más como podría, and would, es co would es como más suave que could, right? Would es como podría usted, and could you es como, um, ¿cómo ponerlo? Would you do this for me? ¿Podrías hacer esto por mí? Ajá, y could es como puede hacer esto por mí. Right? Would es como aún más, would es el más respectful de todos los que hay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ok. Es más suave, más suave. Yeah. Más Correct, yeah. Excellent. Ok, guys, I'll be back. Hello. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hello. 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 How are you? Hi, teacher. How are you? Very, very well. Excellent. I'm glad to hear that. All right, guys. I'm going to give you five sentences which you're going to work with. You have to be ready to write them down. All right. I'm going to give you five sentences and you have to figure it out if it is a direct or indirect question and you have to transform it, right? So that's where you're in groups. You're going to work in groups to do that. So your first question is, where is the mall? Where is the mall? The mall as in shopping mall, right? Number two. Do you know where she is? Do you know where she is? Number three. At what time does the class start? At what? Correct. At what time does the class start? Can you no. repeat, please? Of Can course. you repeat? Of course. At what time? At what time does the class start? Thank you. Of course. At what time does the class start? Number four. Okay. Where is the hospital?
and number five. What color, what color is her hair? What color is her hair? Right? Cool? Yes. yes. Excellent, guys. All right. So you can work on those sentences and we will continue working on this tomorrow. Okay? Okay. Perfect. Okay, teacher. See you in just a bit. Okay, okay. Hello. Hi. Hello, how are you? Fine. Excellent, guys. So I'm going to give you five sentences that you have to find out if it is a direct or indirect question and transform it, okay? Okay. Excellent. So I'm going to tell you these questions. So you have to listen and write them down, okay? Okay. Perfect. So first question. What color, what color are her nails? What color? What color? Are her nails? Her nails. Correct. What color are her nails? Question number two. Where is he? Where is he? Is he? Okay. Question number three. Do you have a dog? Do you have a dog? Okay. Question number four. Can you tell me her name? Can you tell me her name? Okay. And question number five. Where is the class? Where is the class? Where is the class? Okay. Excellent. So guys, we will continue working on this tomorrow, okay? But I will see you very soon before we leave for today, okay? In the same group? Yes, in the same groups. Okay. okay. Thank you. Hello guys, hello. Hello teacher. How are you guys? <clears throat> hello. I am going to give you five sentences guys. And your job is to find out if these sentences are direct or indirect and also transform them. Si son direct, hacerlas indirect and vice versa. Cool? Okay. Excellent, guys. So we will continue working on this tomorrow, así que no se preocupen. But I'm going to give you these sentences uh, right here on the chat, okay? So here goes sentence number one. Mañana vamos a seguir trabajando en los mismos grupos. So if you can, please um, join tomorrow. Uh, that would be great para que podamos seguir trabajando en los mismos groups. Okay? Here goes sentence number two. Sentence number three. Sentence number four. And sentence number five. All right. Okay. Can you see the sentences? Yes. Perfect. So these are the questions that we are going to be working on today and tomorrow. Yo sé que ahorita ya faltan solo unos minutitos, but we will continue tomorrow, okay? Okay. 
Perfect, guys. See you in just a bit, okay? Ooh. Hey. I'm, so sorry. No, I'm sorry. Have you practiced? I'm practical. Si no tenemos yes, yes, yes. Ah, pero ay, oye, Edgardo me dijo que sí, que pasó, no se pusieron de acuerdo. Ah, para, sí, para no, sí, sí. Hey, Edgardo. De no, no pues propia. Yo, no, iba a I am no. here to give you the questions. So your job, guys, is mañana vamos a seguir working on this, so don't worry, okay? So if you can join the class tomorrow, that would be amazing, para que sigamos trabajando in the same groups. So today, I am going to give you these sentences so that I just put it in the chat box so that you can work on the sentences. Your job is to find out if they are direct or indirect and also transform them. So if it's a direct question, you have to turn it into a, an indirect question, right? And vice versa. So this is what we are going to be doing today and tomorrow, guys. Is it okay? Does that sound great? It is okay. Excellent, guys. I'm so sorry it took me so long, but you have the sentences now and we will continue tomorrow, okay? So we still have like about two minutes hasta que cerremos los breakup rooms, so give it a shot and I'll be right back, okay? Okay. okay. Yes. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Las copiaron. Hello. Hello. How are you guys Hello. doing? We consider that we got it. You finished? Yes. Awesome. That's great. Our class is also about to finish, guys. So we will check this sentences tomorrow. As Diane, we will check it tomorrow. And we will do some further exercises. Vamos a hacer algunos otros ejercicios. But for right now, guys, I am here to tell you que en este momento we are going back to the main room para say goodbye, para despedirnos, and we will continue tomorrow, okay? Okay. okay. Excellent. Okay, so going back to the main room in just a moment. You couldn't hear me. Okay, I was muted, I'm sorry. All right, guys. So it is 10 p.m. You have your sentences now, the sentences that you are going to work with uh, tomorrow as well. Vamos a seguir trabajando en esto tomorrow. Uh, I, I understand que los que ya recibieron las sentences de último, pues necesitan más tiempo para trabajarlo, but that's okay. And tomorrow we are going to practice más también. So uh, that would be all for today, guys. Mañana vamos a seguir working on this, but that would be all for today. It is 10 p.m. So thank you guys for joining today. And I hope that you have a very good night and see you tomorrow. Okay? Good night, good night teacher. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.